threw it out of the way. So now that, la 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 la. So now, that, so now that, no, no, I sound so slow. everyone welcome back to my channel today is going to be another sneaker talk video um my last video i got a lot of feedback saying i should do a sneaker talk tuesday and a sneaker talk thursday well um i can only commit to one like sneaker talk video a month i will be doing other um sneaker related videos but I feel like the sneaker talk is more just like talking about different things release dates stuff like this so i don't want to do so many a month so right now I'm just going to do one one sneaker talk video a month and then I'm going to start doing like lookbooks, hauls, and uh, what else, unboxing, different things like that. So just let me know below if you like that idea or any topics or anything you want me to talk about. Um, I've never really done sneaker videos until I started my channel. Of course I talk sneakers with like different people I know, my brother and stuff like that, but not really for an audience. So I do need and appreciate the feedback everyone gives me for these videos. Um, today we're going to start out like we normally do and I'm going to start off with showcasing the things I picked up this month um, in the month of October so we're gonna start in the order I purchased them in so um, first we have a pair of Fenty's right here and these I got from Urban Outfitters these are the bow sneakers and they are the lavender color lilac lavender whatever you want to call it they retail for 160 I did not pay 160 y'all know I didn't pay 160 this is this is what comes in the bag. It has the fancy dust bag here. I own the bow slides, slides, but not the sneakers. I have been wanting the bow sneakers for a while, but I was just like, I'm not paying. I cost two hundred dollars for a pair of these fancy bow sneakers. This is how they look. I wore these one time. I wore them to like on the move to the movies. It was on a weekend, so I only got one wear out of them. Um, they still look practically new. I will say, um, as far as this material being satin here, um. I guess it can I don't know if you can see but it's kind of it doesn't really crease but it kind of has like a little wrinkled a little bit but I do have the tissue paper in it so it could be what print is coming up in the shoe but yet it doesn't it doesn't really like get creases kind of like an Air Force One or a Nike would get but yeah I just thought that was kind of interesting but it is a satin all satin shoe and it just has the Puma here logo on the pulling by Rihanna there and the bow this was a yeah this is an eight and a half women so I was getting eight and a half women in Pumas um generally regular Pumas I think they run true to size I think I do get an eight in those but for some reason with the Fenty line I am getting an eight and a half um so yeah this is just the other shoe here same thing this is the right shoe and it has Fenty Barry on the inside there as well. Back in the box. I just it's just a habit of mine. I like everything to look exactly how it was when I first unboxed it and purchased. have a pair of Jordans. If you follow me on social media, which all y'all need to be following me on Instagram. Anyway, then you you know what these are. These are the Air Jordan 13, the um the bread colorway. Um these retail for 140. See like how how the Fenty Pumas are retail for 160 and Jordans and Gray School are retailing for 140. Like I d I don't know, maybe it's shade, but Puma, Jordan, like I just just my opinion. But okay, um I purchased these from this guy. I've been following him on Instagram for a while. His um Instagram is 23penny. I listed in the description box and he has like a whole lot of other websites and different things. Um, first off, I love the packaging. Like, I love the two business cards and a little sticker thing here. I think this is just really cool to have. It's not needed, but it's just like an extra thing. I'm really big on packaging, so I do like that. I did wear these once. Um, what I did was, and it's shipping is fast. I didn't even know that he was located in Nashville, Tennessee, which is like not that far from where I stay in Mississippi. So... I hit him up. I, I sent an email to the email that was on his page, and I was just like, um, "How long will it take to ship?" Cause I knew, I knew what I wanted to wear. Crap. 
I knew what I wanted to wear for homecoming, but I didn't, um, I didn't, I have plenty of black and red Jordans, but I don't know why I just wanted to wear these shoes here. And this is how the shoe looks. What sold me on the shoe was, and I'll insert pics, is the 3M. Um, these did retro some years ago, and I'm trying to think what year was it? 2013, 14. They retro some years ago, and I didn't grab them just because all of this right here, which is has the 3M the reflective material on them, they didn't have them, and I was kind of like, no, I can't really rock with it. Like I like when they do restock. I mean, when they do retro shoes, I really love for them to make it look like the OG pair as much as possible. So, yeah, this. That's basically it. And I do love these shoes. I have been since they started doing the um, the extended sizes and the different Jordans. It's of, I think, 2016. I have went up a size in Jordans. I used to be a true size 6 youth. Now I do get a 6.5 youth in certain shoes. I think the only ones I still would get a 6 in is like the Jordan um, 7s, I think. Or do I get a six and a half notes? I'm not sure, but it's not that many pair of joints that I still will get a six in just because I feel like the sizing is not the same as it used to be. I know a lot of other people have told me the same thing that the sizing has been off as far as with Jordan brand. You really sometimes have to try the shoe on the store. I'm not a try shoe on the store person. I'm a as soon as I get ready to wear the shoe, that's when I unlace them, unbox them. I never try my shoes on, fun fact, until I get a, I get ready to wear them, which is a a good and a bad thing I guess but this is the shoe these are the bread 13s I always leave the little sticker on here on the little what is this called like the little eyeball thing of the shoe I always leave that on there I don't know why I do it I just do like I'm the type of person when I get like a new TV or something new like and it has like the little plastic like around the TV I just leave it on there I don't I don't have a particular reason for it I just do and, and of course um this with my voice is going in and out. I've been under the weather a little bit, so I do apologize for that. But I did want to just go ahead and get this video out um, this week. I just actually got these in the mail today. And these are a pair of Vans. Um, old school. It says primary check. True blue and white. So I ordered these offline. I just, just got them today. And this is what we have. Okay, yeah, I have been wanting these. I know y'all probably like this girl just has went vans crazy. And honestly, I have. I remember I bought a pair of vans like uh, some years ago. And I don't, I don't, did I wear them? I'm not even sure if I wore them. But yeah, now everybody's into vans and stuff. So this is a pair of the checkerboard vans. I have been wanting a pair because I have the ones that's all just the slide ins that's all the checkerboard all over and of course i have just the regular black and white old school low top ones but i wanted a pair of these but i said i don't want the black and white because i have three black and white pair of vans already i don't want the red and white because i have the, the red and white vans so i was like let me get royal blue i really don't have that much royal blue in my wardrobe so these will make me buy royal blue and i love this shoe um they're so comfortable Obviously, I just took them out of the box and I just took so they have not been worn or anything. It has the signature Vans tag. Um, they don't come lace, if you didn't know. And that's about it. So now, so now that I have my shoe purchases out the way, I will get into the sneaker topics for this week. Okay, guys. Um, as usual, I'm gonna have whatever topic I'm talking about is just gonna pop up on the screen or be somewhere in one of these corners up here. And yeah, we're just going to dive right in. So, the first thing we're going to talk about are the Cristiano Ronaldo. Hold on. Make sure I'm saying it right. Cristiano Ronaldo Nike Air Max 97s. And as you can see from the picture, they are all gold. It's the green Nike symbol on them. And I personally love them. Um unfortunately um they're not really attainable <laughs> which i have the gold air mix 97s anyway so it's not like i would be trying to get them but for anyone interested i think they're only releasing in western europe and on like the sneakers app but um yeah i think they're dope I patchwork on it see shoes that are kind of has outside the box thinking okay now we're going to go on to um if you've heard about the Future Reebok collaboration. Um, 
Um, I'm not like a huge fan of Future. I mean, I may be in a minority, but I'm really not. But his shoe, it combines the Insta Pump Fury, the Reebok Furies, and the Kamikaze 2s together. And actually, I mean, I kind of I kind of feel them. I don't know if it's the color of them that I like or just the, the model of the shoe, but they're pretty dope to me. I've always liked the Insta Pump Furies, so I don't own a pair, but I've always liked them. And I was like, hmm, pretty cool. Also, another collaboration, Gucci. Um, if you've seen those. Um, I'm indifferent about his um, collaboration because I do like the DMX runs, but I don't like I don't like his his take on it. Like I'm not a fan of the ice cream cone. I didn't think it has like a lightning bolt or something on it. I'm trying to just think back in memory, and I don't really like those at all. Um, the shoes okay, but then it's mostly it's kind of like a silver gray silver shoe. I don't really wear silver and gray that much so maybe that's why i'm not a fan of it but um yeah it's gonna be a no for me how do you all feel about different celebrities collaborating with different brands like are you for it because i definitely am for it hopefully one day far off into the future i am fortunate enough to i don't know do a collab of some sort or work with a company on a product Adidas, you know, any any <laughs> any brand that will have me, you know, that I feel like is good enough. Yes, yeah, hit me up. Shoot me an email. Let me know. Like, y'all want to work with me? I want to work with y'all. Okay. <laughs> On to the next one. Um, what do y'all think about the Air Jordan Eleven? The the Airis, um, Jordan Elevens this year. They are grade school only. Obviously, Ares, or if you can pick grade school and you're a guy, whatever. But um, they're going to be featuring this sting, Stingray leather. Um, I like this. I like the colors. I like, I like the black and gold. But I really don't like shoes that are like all one color like in the upper of the shoe and then the mid sole like over the sole of it is like white completely white like i don't know how i feel about that i do need to see more pictures of it but and then the stingray leather i wonder how that feels like is it have kind of like this ripple feel like i'm interested to know how it feels i think the up uh, the upper part of the shoe i think it's made of all suede or something so Mm, no and also i don't i don't really have like a whole whole lot of all black shoes like i have like a good if they are black they're more so jordans but i don't know i mean i think i think they may grow on me it's the holiday season approaches more i think the release date for those are in like december sometime november i think december ish something like that but i know it's gonna be it just says holiday 2017 on so you really never know. Like they could just throw them on the shelves right now, cause they do stuff like that. They just don't do stuff with no warning. Don't give nobody no heads up on stuff. Um. Also, this past weekend, the uh, Bordeaux Twelves and the uh, Pink and Black Twelves released. Um. I think they were called the Deadly Pink Twelves. I'll pop up a picture here. And I was just like, those are pretty dope. Like, this is like the first time in a while I've really had two pair of Jordans that came out at the exact same time. I remember I did that with the He Got Game 13s and the Pink and Gray 13s some years back where they both released that same weekend. So, I was actually thinking about grabbing both of these this weekend. And I was like, no, hold out. Because, for one, they didn't sell out. Like, I'm, I think Nike still has a full-size run of both of the shoes. And if not Nike... Villa Champs somewhere or even in store because around here it's not going to sell out like that. So I'm not too pressed to try to grab both of them even though I do kind of want both of them. I thought they both were pretty dope. Um, personally, the Bordeaux and the white cream Bordeaux color of the, of the 12s, they have some 13s that are coming out.
as well. I think that are the yeah, I think they're the same color and they're grade school. So it kind of has me feeling like, should I grab those or should I hold out for the 13s? Because I think they're releasing like within a month or so. I'm not really sure. Um, what else do I want to talk about in this video? Yeah, I think about the Carmelo brand and the end of the Melo signature shoe with Jordan. Um... Personally, I feel like it was it was gonna come sooner or later. I'm I mean I I don't hear about people copying mellows. I <laughs> I don't think I do. Um do I? No, not really. So what do y'all think about that? What do y'all think about the Air Jordan CEOs? Um I think they're supposed to be limited to like so many pairs, like is it like two thousand pairs or something? I fat check that. They, they, it's kind of subtle with the, um, it's kind of subtle how they have the, like, teal on the toe box of the shoe, but, um, I mean, I like the 16s. The 16s, I, it's a shoe that I love that, I love that model. I really think it's kind of supposed to give, like, this business formula to the shoe, even, but still keeping the athletic feel of it, just because it is the CEO shoe, but. To have them limited, I just think that's interesting. I mean, this is the thing with people. If you put enough hype on a shoe, if you really big the shoe up that much, then it'll sell out because everybody's like, oh, this shoe is limited. Oh, I, everybody's not, everybody's going to try to get the shoe and stuff. So, that's when all the hype beasts come out. That's when everybody starts wanting that shoe. Not because they really like it. And I think that's kind of where they're going with the marketing as far as behind the shoe is. Oh, we're going to put it as limited pairs. Maybe it'll, they'll sell out. Which they may. I don't know. Um, overall, I don't know if a lot of people just really like the 16s like that. Like the 15, 16s models like that. I don't know if people really just rock with them like that in order for the shoe to sell out. But we'll see. I can see if somebody does cop them, I can see why they would cop them. Just me personally, they they wouldn't they wouldn't really do me any serve me any purpose. If you all have heard of Extra Butter NY, um, I started going on that website. Huh, I I know I was young, like, and I don't even know how I came across it because at that point I had never even. Well, I still I haven't been to New York. I've never been to New York or visited New York. But at that point in my life, I know I was New York was like this far off land place to me. So I was probably like in middle school, but I have been going on their website since then, and I don't even know how I ran across it. That's when I used to really be like, like I'm into shoes now, but that's when I was kind of like, I guess it's kind of one of those things where, when you can't really afford certain certain stuff, you really research it and you really set your your mark on it. Like one day I'm gonna be able to get those, and now that I can kind of afford more things, more shoes, and more brands, it's kind of like, eh, I don't really focus in on it like I used to but yeah I used to go on extra butter website and now they're supposed to be doing a collab with a6 with ghostface killer or whatever so I think that's pretty cool like I said I love it when certain artists and stuff that I really feel like are really about the culture of shoes and are really big it's like they really are into shoes that they, they get their just do and get their you know get their collab or whatever I have two more things to talk about. Hopefully my time doesn't run out because I don't feel like changing my memory card right now. Okay, first I want to talk about the semi-frozen yellow Yeezy Boost 350 V2. Huh, that's a mouthful. But uh, um, I just like to have everything on point because I don't know nobody coming for me saying, Oh, she don't know her shoes. I know, trust me, I know my shoes. I know the history of my shoes. I know what I'm talking about. And if I don't know, correct me, cause I I don't want to be on here giving out false information. But okay, yeah, I really like. I kind of like them. I just said I am with Yeezys. I have my Adidas on right now. I'm like somebody need to plug me in. Like I'm willing to pay for my shoe. I'm not willing to pay a ridiculous price, but I am willing to pay for the shoe. I throw you some extra. Like hit me up if you got the plug. And they're real. They're authentic. I'm going to know if they're real or not. <laughs> so, 
yeah so yeah hit me up and let me know because i need a pair of yeezys in my life would i probably grab these no just for the simple fact that they're all like neon shoe i don't really need a neon shoe or of any sort not that i can think of but i do love the gum bottom of the shoe i think that's pretty cool that they have their little gum bottom and they did it like in a cool way where it's just kind of like like a little strip of it at the bottom i don't know i just thought that was kind of cool and also i want to touch on the the Dunsey um, Air Force 3s, I think they are. Collaboration, the Air Force 3 collab. Um, Dunsey, he, he really can't, in my opinion, do no wrong when it comes to when it comes to certain shoes like when it comes to all his collabs i always love them um i was actually gonna grab the just done twos the they were like this pinky peach color um but i just for some whatever reason i didn't end up grabbing them but yeah i really like them i'm like he bring the air force threes back then they have this like gucci um colorway behind it it's rich behind it so i think those are dope I am running out of time and I don't, I'm about to change my memory card out, but it's always like, share, comment, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, what are you doing watching this video? If you haven't subscribed, let me know down below if you like this video, what I can do to do better, other topics, other sneaker idea videos, and, and yeah, thank you for watching.